everyone, it's Hermione and in today's video I'm going to be showing you some DIY dorm decor projects or as we call it in England, we have halls of residence so you could use it in your halls of residence too. And I'm hoping you've noticed but the quality of this video should be a lot better because I just got a new camera and I'm so excited about it. I'm probably not in focus because this is the second time I'm trying to figure out the autofocus thing. But <laughs> just bear with me for a couple of weeks while I get used to it, but hopefully the videos are going to be a lot better. And because of that, I'm so excited to get on with more videos. I was in a bit of a video slump because my camera was so bad and <laughs> my mic broke, so I was literally using my boyfriend's Xbox headphones to do voiceovers, but that's sorted too because I got a new mic. So fingers crossed my videos are going to start to look a whole lot better. And I've talked enough, so let's get straight into this room decor video. Very few dorm rooms come with a headboard, so I'm going to show you how to make a really simple and fun one to brighten up your room and it's really light so it'll hang up really easily. So take some cardboard, this is the size of my cardboard, I'm putting two pieces together and then reinforcing it with some duct tape and then once I've done that I'm going ahead and using some fabric to cover the front of it. I'm using a hot glue gun for this seeing as it's mixed materials and it actually works really well. I left the bottom edge open open and didn't glue it up until I put the filler inside of it. So I'm using polyfill and I'm fluffing it up before stuffing it inside the headboard and to make a really even surface you really want to get it fluffy and stretch it out and then really flatten it. Spend a good few minutes placing the polyfill so it's nice and soft and even. Then go ahead and glue your last edge shut and that is it. You can stick this on the wall using command strips or tape. Because it's made of cardboard and fabric it is so light and you won't risk damaging your walls at all. Next I'm going to show you how to make a monogrammed piece of artwork with your initials on and you can obviously again make this in any colour or print that you would like. So I'm starting off by cutting out nine squares of cardboard each three inches by three inches wide and I'm covering them in fabric and then I'm just going to use some hot glue to cover the fabric and stick it to the cardboard. Fold it up like a present, trim off the excess and then once you have all of your pieces, you can arrange them in a 9x9 nine nine square. I picked this initial up from AC Moore and I'm painting it this pink colour. So once I've put my squares together, I'm then going to lay my initial on top and glue it into place. Once again, I'm using hot glue for this project to stick it down and there's a couple of things that I would do differently if I would do this again. I would probably stick the letter upside down and then stick the squares on top of it because the glue was very quick to dry and the squares moved around a lot and this would probably help you avoid getting them all messed up and looking wonky and secondly I probably would actually use a really busy print instead of stripes because stripes are really difficult to line up. So there are my tips and hopefully you guys can make yours look better if you make one. I am obsessed with prints and brands such as Lily Pulitzer at the moment and you see a lot of prints in dorm room decor so I want to show you how I upcycled this vase and it's so simple it's really just a hack. So I took these flowers which I got in the thrift store and you can find these in dollar stores or anywhere really and I took all of the pieces off it and I made sure that it fit in the vase first of all and I'm taking some patterned scrapbook paper and all I'm doing is putting it inside the vase. This way you can switch your patterns out and you can change them up as you please without destroying the vase. So all I did was fix this with a little bit of glue and put the flowers back in and it's ready. And finally, because I'm staying in Virginia this summer, I've created some artwork out of the state outline and you can do this with countries and states or counties if you like, so whatever floats your boat. So I'm going to show you how I made this. I'm starting by taking a frame, I painted the front of it pink and then I went ahead and cut out my state outline by tracing over my computer screen and that's not ideal but I did that and I did it on some scrapbook paper. Then I'm going ahead and placing it on the back. I like the look of it on the back a little bit more than the front because then it won't peel off and you know. So I'm putting some Mod Podge on it and putting it directly on the back of the frame. You could totally do this on the front if you would like to, it's just this is my preference. And then I just let it dry overnight and then once that was finished it looked like this. That is everything I have to show you guys in this video and as always if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already 
And if you are going to college or university this year, let me know when you are starting in the comments below and have fun. Good luck. I hope you guys have a great time. But if you're not going, I hope some of these room decor items were kind of useful to you. Anyway, that is everything I have to say in this video. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you on my next one. Bye.